All right, guys, so today I'm going to be fixing one of my sprockets. Um, I bought this sprocket, and it's it was the right size for the chain. The holes are off, and the center bore wasn't quite right. So uh, this was what came with the axle that I got, and um, I used a smaller sprocket for the 420 chain. Uh, so uh, this is my... And this is what we're going to be dealing with today. So I got to make the center bore the size of this. And uh, yeah, then I got to cut this thing off and uh, put the other one on. So hang around. We'll see how this goes. All right. So my center bore is two and an eighth. And it needs to be two and a quarter to match this one. So I just kind of lined it up as best as I could. The good thing about this one is it's got these rings in there. So after, after I was able to draw it out, I was able to actually count each one of the rings. And it's the exact same on these three holes. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a drill with... A grinder wheel so we'll see what it does and uh, by the way I forgot to mention that this is uh, my kids cart and kind of a modifying journey if you will uh, but they aptly named it Nemo so we went ahead and painted it orange well repainted a little bit of it orange and then the top of it white so yeah let's turn Nemo into Super Nemo All right, so you can see I've kind of gotten almost nowhere. So what I'm going to do is actually take the file to it a little bit and see where I can get with that. Um, it did does seem to be working. It's just going to take some time. And I won't make you suffer through it. All right, so I keep getting the little burrs and everything stuck in there. So I constantly having to try to I know I got nasty nails y'all I just use them as tools so just basically cleaning out my file hard to do on camera actually yeah that's not showing y'all anything is it all right, so got sick of using the file. Got about this much done in about 20 minutes. So after a sore arm and some ibuprofen, I just took a drill. I mean, uh, my grinder. I had, I got a few of these wheels. So um, I took a stone and I just cut on the stone until it cut the wheel down to about the size that I need. Now it's just quite a bit easier. That's it. So now I'm going to drill my new holes and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these holes in, but I need to try to refine my center. So what I've done is pretty simple. Just took a clothespin and a razor blade. And I'm just checking. I know it's not conventional, but it seems like it's doing a good job.
I'm gonna get through them. got these holes drilled and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna take this and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut the whole thing in half actually and then I'll just be able to rejoin it together on the axle because I welded the axles on not thinking about it and that's going to be quite a bit of work so I went ahead and I took the other one off and uh, what I'll do is when I cut it in half I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put it in, on in place and then I'll take this other one and just kind of put it on and bolt through both of them and it'll kind of like solidify the whole thing on there and so instead of cutting this piece off I'll just use it as a big washer basically so All right, so I've got it lined up as about as perfect as I can get it. So let's just see what we get. gonna take it over and see if she'll hook up <clears throat> yep yeah, we're gonna have to move that first of all all right so took this piece over and uh, just kind of had to sort of drill over a little bit more to give myself just a little bit more so it would get in there just right so now I got the half I got the bottom part on so and then that's what it's going to look like obviously I'm not going to be using this gear but we're going to use this one and then when it's all put together let's see if you can see that let's make sure our chain fits right here where our union comes together oh that's gonna be nice Got them all tightened up and everything so I mean kind of cool looking but yeah so I'll just be tying this up out of the way but that's it that's how you do your uh, poor man's <laughs> modification um, 
like I said, this was this is the uh, the 420 chain. It's also the same as the number 41 and the number 42. And um, yeah, so the sprocket's a 420 sprocket. So if you're looking for this, you can find it on Amazon. This one was like 30 bucks. So yeah, you got to do some modifications to get it right and to get it on there, but. We'll get the chain on and uh, get a test run and see where we're at. Stay tuned. All right, so now I'm getting ready to do my chain. So I got my link marked that I need to pop out. So instead of buying a chain um, tool, basically I just took a pair of needle nose and I drilled a hole through it. And I have an earth magnet that's got a, uh, a stem on there. So... I can basically just press it right through. So, all right, had a little bit of trouble getting my chain taken care of, but either way, here we are. have it not too much play all right that's it can't wait to see it all right we're gonna crank it up i know we all love the loud bumpy videos but here we go